Alright. Hello and welcome! If I sound far away, I'm sorry. I'll bring the mic closer to me. How do I sound? Sound good. I sound good. No echoes. That's fantastic. Okay. So, it's been a while. I've... So let's see how well I remember this. <clears throat> So, if I recall last time, you all were basically exploring the carnival until something strange happened to the cube that Hyorik was holding on to. It started to glow. Um, this cube, which is presumed to be a key, was having an odd reaction, and you guys... I'm sorry, you bit your own tongue. Um, and you guys decided time to uh, investigate, but not after having a little bit of your own fun first. Birds stole a spoon from the carnival circus. Um, and uh, Lenara uh, got called... Uh, got called away to join uh, Lulu in his tent where they had a private conversation speaking to one another. As for what that private conversation is, um, we didn't really have time to roleplay it all out. It was written in a roleplay, and uh, I guess there it will remain. Um... Lenar, you got the sense that Lulu, uh, likes you. In fact, uh, maybe even, um, wants you to join the said circus. Aside from that, you guys went on a couple of other games. And Aegis found himself in order to distract anyone from looking or watching to uh, harass the worker who um well argue with him he'd say argue but it was harassment um, <laughs> uh he was arguing with the worker about the ticket system here and found himself escorted after Azura bravely abandoned him <laughs> to hide uh, and was brought to the ringmaster's trailer? Caravan? Tent? A strange Caravan. place much bigger than the uh, uh on the inside than on than on the out he found himself speaking with the headmaster and then was transformed into something that he may have a hard time getting out of we cut back as i think i will start with Lenara here. As you are all separated, I'll start with Lenara here. Um, Lulu offered you something to eat and was leading you out of his tent. Now, forgive the colors here, but um, it is supposed to be like a purplish blue tent. Um, as you come out of the tent and you see a bunch of people, yeah, no, not this one. Um, you see, uh, it, it was supposed, to, this is the smaller version. Yeah, that one. This is the one. Okay. Um, you see, uh, as it is getting rather dark, like evening, twilight time, you see that there is a giant tent over here. Uh, that is a deep purple with uh, with blue flags adorning it. 
Um, hmm. Lulu uh, looks to you, still wearing his mask, um, and offers his arm in case you want to hold it. Sure, Lenara would. Okay. Like the gentleman, and like the lady you are, he, you both, uh, you, uh, you are led, um, you are, uh, led to this tent. And it goes, would you like to see the sights before having something to eat? Man. Sounds like an idea. Follow me. And from the back entrance, you enter into this tent. Now, I don't have pictures of what this tent looks like on the inside, so you're just gonna have to use your imagination. So, this tent... Uh, from the back is rather dark on uh, the inside uh, with a couple of lights near a bunch of cages. Make me a perception check. Yes. Okay, so very good perception from some of the smells and as you and sounds you can tell that this is a curio tent now for those of you who don't know what a curio is a curio t uh back when uh, circuses were more popular uh, and engaged in this kind of activity. Curios were just a shortened name for curiosities. There are curiosities here. Um, this is where uh, you'll see, like, the bearded lady or, like, the amazing contortionist. Um, like, you enter in here and you see um, odd sights that most folk don't get to see. Um, from that perception check alone, which covered a lot, I will tell you what you see in the curio tent as you walk through it. Okay, let me see here. I need to find my thing. The thing is the thing that's attached to the thing on the thing. Yeah. So, but not the not that thing. In in one of these cages looks to be a bush. Just a straight up bush. Just it, it, it looks like a straight up bush to you. Nardo just raises an eyebrow. In the next cage appears to be a snake of some sort, but it looks to have many frills, is a deep red, and is huge. A snake with frills. A snake with frills that is, it looks to be fired color. And when it sees you uh, approach, Lenara, uh, you could swear that yeah. it speaks, but you are unsure of the language. Can I see if I would be able to try and identify what animal that is? Sure. Um, would that, be... that would be arcana, uh, that would be an arcana check. Yeah, oh, well, that's good. That one's trained. 
you have no idea what this thing is. Um, yeah, sorry. And uh, it's huge, though. You've never seen anything like this thing before. Um, and uh, it looks like that it's getting uh, a bit... Uh, looks like it's getting a bit um, upset. And you see that a bit of flames are uh, licking out from uh, from its jaws, and it uh, and it uh, looks to blow uh, a bit of fire your way, uh, but it gets <laughs> repelled from the open bars. Like there is a force. To know, or just rather casually say, it. that's an interesting creature. Yes, it is. Also, huh? Sorry, sorry. You know that famous last word. Whenever I've had Arcana trained, it's not troll tides. Whenever it's untrained, that'll get like nat twenties on it. Um, exactly. He goes. Remember uh, that time you uh, rolled stealth with advantage and you still got two nat ones, boo? <sighs> Fucking hell, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, Lulu goes, ah, yes, it is, uh, the fire snake, Salamander. Now, if you want to roll another arcana check on that, you can. Yes. So 20. All right. Now that we bitched about it, it will get me 20. Yeah. <laughs> So, they're also known as salamanders, and they are known to slither across the Sea of Ash on the elemental plane of fire. They are technically fire snakes, and they can talk and understand language, but only in, well, the elemental plane of fire language. They are also known to be living forges. Well, most creatures from the fire elemental plane can be used as forges. Yeah. Mm. From what you know, like, you're not sure how Bobinski or the circus got their hands on a fire snake and they're able to contain it because you know that these things are so dangerous that because they it generates such intense heat you know that they're so dangerous that even like approaching one too closely will cause your flesh to blister and burn in proximity you will get sunburned near this creature if it does not get worse and yet you're cool is it going off a large amount of light in the tent, or...? It is giving off a eerie orange glow, like a living fire pit. She just sort of tilts her head and goes, Huh. We're cold, yet so close. Hmm. Yes. That one was an interesting one. Continues down the line. Um, further down the line, you see a deer on two legs with hands wearing some clothes just sitting in a chair is it in a cage or is it just a chair and it's it is in a cage and is sitting on a chair. You see that there is kind of this stage set before it. Uh, this uh, deer person. Um, and when you approach it, kind of like light uh, illuminates that you see it a little bit more clearly. Um, and it looks like that it's in like a forest, but with that perception, you know that this is like best equivalent of this time carbo uh, cardboard cutouts and paintings to make it look like that it has depth 
It's very well done, actually, to make it l give the illusion that this cage is bigger than what it is. And that they are in a natural environment. They, yeah. The deer person looks to you and waves. Well, now I would wave back and just sort of move her head slightly to see if the effect holds before moving on. Uh, it moves its head slightly, uh, to copy you. It would probably be a slight head tilt, but then there would be a nod straight after that. Just like, yeah, that, no, deserve that one. Yep. Okay. Going further down, you see that you are approaching uh, one cage that seems to be more or less in the center. Um, and when you approach it, uh, a song starts to play. Moon, can you introduce your character, Hi. please? Hi. I was not expecting so soon. <laughs> no, no one is, but um, here we are. <laughs> um. So, I just bring the picture out. Yep, yeah, bring the picture out. out. Show everyone who you are. Alright. I get that a little bigger. It's so small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will make her big. Why does everyone else insist ah! <laughs> on uh, getting big? But our new character here is that? Ah! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> um. So as the music is uh, playing, uh, what uh, Lenara would probably see is this. Calicoed haired, um, as cat ears, and when uh, the music starts, her back would be facing the audience before uh, turning around. She is a um, colored eye, blue gold. Uh, the clothing that she is wearing is not that clothing. <laughs> um, it's more of a costume. It is a, um, it's white but like down near ends of like the dress and stuff from like probably the knees down. Um, it's see-through, it has some blues and purples and some golds. Unfortunately, uh, Moon's, I, I tried putting in what her cage looked like because she actually drew the set piece, but Roll 20 isn't accepting it, so, Han, if okay. you would please show in Discord, everyone, what your cage looks like. I will. You will have to give me a couple of seconds. Yep. Yep. Right. Um, I'm also going to throw in the outfit, too, while I try to find the cage here. Sure. Creative. No! Why? Oh, oh god! <laughs> I, 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 I clicked out of my thing. Oh, uh, it's your turn. Take over. Go. Yeah. <laughs> no! I'm the only one that doesn't have GM power in this game. <laughs> I don't I have really? GM powers anymore. I we don't. don't have it. Oh, I um, it's so casual. Okay. You Great saw. Yep. Yeah. And uh, the key just loaded up onto. Good. Discord. Good, 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 good. So. You've already made your grand entrance. Um. Make a performance check for me, honey. Okay. I think Discord is like, no, I don't want your character sheet up. Uh, oh, there we go. We'll take the 18. 
So. Because that's the first one. So, 18. Uh, Lenara? This cat woman is amazing at dancing. It's so um, entrancing. Um, <laughs> and you have... The deer was strange. The bush caught you off guard. Fire Snake you kind of knew about after hearing the name. This, you have never seen anyone like it. Or possibly even heard of anyone like it. This is definitely a curiosity. Um, and Lulu says, this is Yuna. What's going through Lenara's thoughts right now? Mostly just head tilted and like, okay, what's going on here? Because it's a very fancy cage. Mm hmm. Um, it's one of the few things that, like, it's like, it's one of the few cages, and I'm, ta I'm still taking it from your perception from earlier. That is actually really nice. Like, to the point where it's just like, you can argue, is it even a cage? I mean, a lot of things can be argued, are they cages or not, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that is probably also going for Lunara said, like, hmm. Hmm. Okay. So. Uh... Yuna. Yes. You finish your number. Um, you are one of the few curios that are allowed to speak with your audience. Is there anything that you say? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is brought on so fast. Um. Uh, for this, I'm guessing with all the lights and everything, um, if people want to talk to her, she'll talk back. Yeah. I, uh, usually at the end of her numbers, uh, there's like a little area near the front of the stage that she'll sit on. Yep. In case people want to come up to her. Yep. Uh, people, uh, clap, um, and people, um, uh, just, like, watch and, uh, people are, are a little bit, uh, scared to, uh, come up to, uh, to talk a bit. Um, so you see that some of these people are really keeping their distance from you. Uh, Lulu looks over to Lenar and he goes, Do you want to speak with her? Sorry, there's an internal conflict in my head. Would Lenar or would she not? While my brain tries to draw a sense on this, on this do you want to jump over to the other group for a bit so they're not ignored too long? Sure. Also, let's moon. Think of character. Yep. And wake up. <laughs> so. So she's really overwhelmed. Back over here to our group. Azor. Bird. It just is gone. Oh, Azor joined me now? <laughs> oh, Azor was here with Perk and Ellie, I think, right? I think it is safe to say. That after Kurik uh, disappeared, everyone convened in a spot. I'd say near the blue dragon statue, or blue serpent statue. Which looms overhead. Uh, We're on our own trip from school. Someone's missing. Everyone meet up at this spot. Yep. And exist in high school, but okay. <laughs> I mean, 
See, Georgie, Georgie's picture obeys. All of these pictures yes. obey. Oh, they do too, okay. Now let's try Hurik. She doesn't obey! Why? What, what, do you, what do you think? Her personality doesn't obey. What are you talking about? Yeah, so it's just all. It's like the all the character the tokens. <laughs> all of the character tokens don't obey, and I don't know why. Oh uh, yeah, Moon. <laughs> Moon was saying that what the dance that she was dancing was uh. Belly dance. Belly dance. Belly dance. Okay, so. You all convene here. Uh, and Georgie goes, Well, where did Aegis go after that big guy uh, grabbed him? Looked like he was being escorted away, and I tried to follow, but... Um, I lost him. Which is actually kind of strange, such a big guy. I'm... Not sure either. There's too many people to follow sightwise for them. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. Nerdu. Nerdu's another person that is uh, missing. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That Nerdu yeah. well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie goes. Where were you? To you, Azor. Okay, I was making sure who it was. <clears throat> I was trying to uh, see where the. <clears throat> it's a. Was it a cube or a key we had, by the way, that was the glowing and stuff? I think it was a cube. Um, the cube that you guys not work like. The cube that you guys were uh, walking with was glowing with, uh, yeah. with uh, magic that kept changing. Yeah, so I had was, a multicolored thing. Yeah, was, and you were trying to, and, and you were trying to identify everything else, and then like I think your eyes started to hurt. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I could tell that like whatever it is it's hiding with it is because it kept shifting colors, but I couldn't see what school it actually was. Hmm. Yep. But yeah, <clears throat> hey. I was just trying to. See where it led since he want he vo volunteered to be a distraction. I see. Yeah, d she just leaves it at that. She doesn't pry any further. Mm -hmm. Who has the key right now? I forget if it was Hurik or Azuru who had it last. I thought Hurik always had it, but... Yeah, I, I, I would probably simply say it's Hurik that has it. Okay. Then it is, uh... Hurik that has it, then. Uh... Hurik, um... Is like, well... We have to find him. Right? Yes. N Where is Ne'er do L? Oh, Ne'er do L. Uh, Georgie uh, begins. I have no idea. That man wandered off and. Uh. Lenara is another one who is missing at the current moment. True. I haven't seen her since. The show. Hmm. He, uh, thinks his mustache twitching a little bit. Hmm. Maybe if we start walking around. The glow from Hurik's key will glow brighter. Am yeah. I am am I crazy for thinking that? 
That is possible. Maybe in different spots, it'll glow brighter if we get closer or dimmer. I think, I think that's how it works at least. I hope the so. Best chance. A uh, bird pops up excitedly and says, "Dozing rod," and nods. Ah, bird! Just the man I was looking to talk to. Tell us, what are your thoughts? Can make distraction. A distraction. Eat trouble. Ah, what do you? Th what sort of distraction are you thinking of? Uh, bird feathers cough up, and he says, "Big distraction." Um, he like thinks a bit, and he's like, "Well, you old devil, you've uh, you've always uh, come up with crazy plans before." Does anyone want to go with him? Uh, he gestures at L uh, Lady LSD and says, <laughs> "Please." Suggestion. Hold on, I gotta go into LSD's voice. Mm -hmm. Suggestion. Causing trouble for circus. Maybe bad, no? E friend in trouble. Need distraction to lure security. All right. He shall be done. Okay. You have volunteered, Lady LSD. <laughs> for so your to turn into animals so she can communicate and tell them what to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I like the sound of this. All right. I see no way this could possibly go wrong. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's now Georgie, Hurik, and Azor. <laughs> Georgie looks to you, Azor, uh, looking for guidance between you and uh, Hurik. Well, we... What? We have a reference point, at least. Hmm. We need to somehow... Uh, well, if he was causing trouble, odds are they either threw him out, or honestly take him, him and uh, probably are beating the snot out of him. I hope it wouldn't be that severe, but... <laughs> My snot! No! Mm. Um, hmm. If he was... So hostile, we probably would have heard something by now. Walls aren't that far from town to circus, so he'd probably be yelling at us to get our attention if he was. Yeah, he's so, pretty loud. Maybe they just have him somewhere in detention? Something like that? Do circuses do that? Or... Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but I think we should ask. True. <clears throat> Um, so, what do you do, Azur? Because I'm playing two characters right now. <laughs> and I can't be the one no, I get you, I get with you. everything, okay? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Otherwise, it's like I'm playing the game for you. No, I get you, I get you. <laughs> um... 
Azira would very cautiously and timidly and jittery approach, I guess, a booth person? Is the easiest place to find someone who works for the circus? A booth person. Okay, there are a couple places. There's over here and near here. Uh, he probably go to him by the entrance because if they did throw him out by chance, you'll they would be have seen the first him. place. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is where you guys are going to go. And the party separates once again. So! <clears throat> is my curio tent ready? I have to look at moon. <laughs> Do it. Oh, that okay. almost sounds like nervous laughter or panic there. I have like a case of water here and I've gone through half of it already. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you sure it's water, not vodka? <laughs> oh, it's water. If it was vodka, I'd be a lot more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are presented with a opportunity. Uh, you two. Either one speaks to one, or another speaks to... or something. And if you choose not to speak, that is perfectly fine. You can just move on. Well, I'll probably put our hands behind the back, clean back a tiny bit, thinking on it, and then go, don't see a reason not to. Towards Lulu. He, uh... Let's go of uh, he uh, uncurl he uncharns his uh, arm uh, within yours and he go and uh, he uh, motions for you to go right ahead. Should approach slowly, or slowly a little bit cautiously, but it's obvious the caution's trying to mimic the rest of the crowd <laughs> to anyone that's actually. Aware of normal caution. Yeah. She's keeping at, an at eye this, out like normal, but at this point the crowd is kind of like dispersing a bit. Uh, less people are in the curio tent. You overhear. Uh, oh wow, there's a new addition somewhere in the distance, further in, uh, further down the curio tent. Slight eyebrow raise at that comment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> should glance in the direction just to see what. Okay. Make. Um, since you are doing a brand new perception of what's happening, I need another perception roll. Yeah, no, that's fine. And watch this be in that one. It was okay, that 16. one. It was an eight. Okay. You notice not too far from a. From uh, your uh, interests, the Catwoman's Naomi. Wait, is that her name? Uh. Yuna. 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 Where did uh, you get Naomi from? You know, it's too complicated to even begin to answer that question. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. <laughs> it's like. There are many <laughs> leaps and bounds here that I'm that would take too long to explain, so it's complicated. Um, <laughs> short answer is I knew a calico cat named Naomi, so <laughs> that's the short answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, you. S Look further down, and uh, you see a sign that says, brand new. Uh, or, like, uh, and another sign that says, beware. Um, and, uh, within it, you recognize the person. It's Aegis. Not yelling at the top of his lungs. 
just there in the cage. Slacked. Uh, just pauses for a few moments and goes, huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll go back to that probably later. <laughs> the D100 riddles for how much of a shit she gave. She did not give much of a shit. <laughs> okay, back to Yuna. It was probably like, that's the quiet he's been so far on this trip. He's not shouting at <laughs> <much> performance. <laughs> How close is oh, blah, 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 blah. you can oh, get okay, fairly good. close to this cage? Uh, of course, there is like a rope that's like you uh, that's like a bit of a, a border. Um, but this cage is like I you could reach uh, a hand in there if you wanted. But... Um, should just take the other side of the rope, just because yeah. she doesn't know if. And I'm really sorry for doing this one, Moon. If the person inside that or creature inside that is hostile, even though it's definitely well trained because it can dance and can speak, she doesn't know if it would be hostile if she got closer. Yeah. Um, as this woman gets closer to Eunice Cage, it's more of um. You know, I'll just smile and close her eyes with a small tilt of her head and wave. Laura would tilt her head and go, You know if you close your eyes, no one can see you if they wave. You can't see them if they wave back, right? Oh. Your oh. <laughs> voice on them. Um. Oh, true, but like doing it. <laughs> she just ever a slightly to a heavy boy and just be like, what? <laughs> um, why not? What it's gonna be a you? conversation that's just gonna go around. <laughs> What are you? Um... Oh? People like to refer to me as, uh, Neko? Oh, who do we lose? Wait, who, who do we lose? Neko Dane! <laughs> Dane died! You can not handle the Nekos. The Nekos are in too much of a revelation. <laughs> Well, no, I'll just go. Huh, I don't think I'll I just happen to know comedic timing. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> is your race from this particular plane, or is it from a different one? Because I did, did notice there were a few from other planes here. Do you even know what I mean by referring to plane? Like I need to make a check on this, but <laughs> you do need to make a check on this. Okay, what do I need to make? You need to make, I guess, a nature check. Okay. It would probably Either... also maybe be an arcana check. I, I, an, or an arcana. Choose whichever one. Because for all about the planes, which I, I could be know. Nature or arcana. Yeah, uh, but also I'm going on the fact like. If she doesn't, like, planes, she could honestly misunderstand it as, like, planes as in, like, a piece of land. Yeah, just like those open planes. <laughs> like, open yeah, planes. from there, right? <laughs> <laughs> or Arcana. Like, which do you think? Okay, 14. Uh, I would say, with a 14, Arcana. You sort of know what they're talking about. Um, and as a, uh, DM here, 
I'm gonna say... If, uh... I guess I should ask you. Does Yuna believe she's from a different plane? Or if she's on a different plane? Question. Um... Is she a plane? I am not a plane! <laughs> um... Sorry. Sorry. Uh, no, I think she's... She knows that she's probably from... This plane. Alright. So? You can explain At least that. his memory serves for her. Alright. I <laughs> presume <being> Luna's <laughs> wandering around. Lulu is... Uh, you see Lulu behind uh, Lenara, not like encroaching behind, like encroaching like, oh my gosh, we're so close that if she leaned back or stepped back, she like bump into him, but like, do the butt -butt. yeah, not, not that close, but he is behind her enough that you can see his mask and given the light in the curio tent, mm. it honestly looks like the mask just floating there. Don't be so creepy. Staring at you with glowing <laughs> eyes. I don't see that creeps me out. Yeah, that creeps <laughs> you out. Yeah. I'm assuming, considering I'm talking to this person, I would probably notice they're slightly freaking out from something behind me. You know, the eyes just you, darting you, behind yeah. me every now and again. Yeah, you do notice. <laughs> I mean, up to your character, uh, Yuna, but... Uh, some of the tall tale signs would definitely be kind of, like, starting a little bit to look behind her, but probably one of the bigger tall tale signs is in the tail poof up just slightly. I mean, to be fair, my character has no idea of what the tail poofing up means. It's probably all the eyes that give it away. Okay. <laughs> totally fine. Um, what Lenara does with that information, what does she do? She just, like, keeping her body straight, just turns her head to look behind her, probably at Lulu. Yeah, uh, you see Lulu, and it, it, same thing as Yuna, it just looks like a floating mask there. <laughs> just as if it's on instinct, dancing lights, and move them slightly closer to him so he's not looking like a floating figure. Yeah, uh, now, uh, you can see the rest of, uh, his body. His arms are, uh, to the side. He's standing very straight and motionless. He doesn't even flinch when the dancing lights come near him. You're not sure if that intimidates you more or gives you comfort. Yeah, Liv Hour just goes, sorry, it was slightly freaking out. The one in the cage. Hmm. This Lenora doesn't even seem to bat an eyelid on this. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down at himself and he's like, I need a change of wardrobe then. No wonder people always panic in my tent. I mean, you were blending into the background. Perhaps a new tent. Would the change of clothes not be easier if they're slightly more vibrant to give the magician feel more? I know some magicians like being more flamboyant. Hmm. He puts his hands on his chest, swipes down, and his outfit then changes color into like a banana yellow. That uh, Lenora turns around and goes, "That might be a little too ostentatious." He tilts his head, like, uh, like, 20 degrees, and, uh, he, like, starts from his pants, moves back up, and, uh, turns He's his- naked. <laughs> turns his clothes into a different, uh, that basically, uh, wears more casual clothes that you have never seen before in your life. Is it like modern day clothes? It's like modern day clothes, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you see, you see that he's wearing shorts, and that he's pale as sin. 
<laughs> Even if it's modern day clothes, I'm not sure if Lodana wouldn't have seen that before. May I roll an arcana check? Sure. Like, oh, wait a minute, he's he's like a props with like the he's head he's head. a drow. He's a drow, so like he's pale for a drow. We're <laughs> just saying something. <laughs> um, yeah, go ahead, make an arcana check to see if you've even seen clothes like that. It's gonna be a high DC. Yeah, no, that's fine. You need to be the 25, okay? Nope. Yeah, no. What is this? He's wearing, like, khaki shorts, a t-shirt with, like, a vest, and Crocs. Yeah! Lord Lord just raises <laughs> one hand and is like, I... Now that just makes you look like you belong in here, like those particular clothes belong in here. He claps his hands together and he's back in his regular outfit. What is his regular outfit, by the way? His regular outfit is the one that he's been wearing this entire time. So his performing outfit. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, now would sort of pause for a moment and then... No, I don't have a spell that can do that, never mind. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I can change my appearance, but I can't change my clothes. <laughs> clothes you know, the, the easier magic isn't available. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, yeah. Uh, just tilt my head slightly and be like, that was interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Lulu walks further uh, down and he goes, enjoy your conversation because he's going to be checking out the brand new curio. Sonara sort of calls, but not too loudly. Make sure he doesn't start ranting about death again. <laughs> I believe that is too late. God damn it. Uh, oh. yeah. If you need a ball gag and she uses prestidigitation to summon one in her hand, I have one. He walks over and, uh, and, uh, he, uh, takes it from you and he puts it in his pocket and then walks over to the... where Aegis is. Well, it would turn back around. Um. Still slack jawed. You are still slack jawed. Um, I might as well bring you into the fold here, Dane, while we still have the Please. chance. So, Aegis, you come to, and you are in a cage. It's not just any kind of cage, though. It looks to be. Ah! God damn it! I'm a prop. Ah. Uh. Hmm. My my screen went completely black and I got scared. Oh, that <laughs> and that it just like collapsed on me. Like everything collapsed on me. That's the, the, my whole oh. heart just stopped and now is beating again. Um, so you're in an interesting predicament. Um, there I am. As you uh are in this type of cage. You did have it. I did have it, yep. Hey. I'm just gonna get it here. So, you see that there is a coffin not too far from you. Uh, what looks to be a, uh, a altar along with some gravestones and some candles scattered all around. But when you take a closer look, because you are inside the cage, you realize that your altar is just a plain folding table that has, like, a bunch of decorations on it to make it look like an altar. It's not a real altar. And when you look at the gravestones from this angle, you see that they're being propped up by, like, cardboard. <laughs> cardboard cutout. <laughs> so it's cardboard <laughs> cutout gravestones. <laughs> and, like, painted, like, stuff. The only thing... That is like considerably real here is the box is the coffin, but when you get to the coffin, 
it's just a bunch of uh, boxes that have been like put together to look like a coffin. <laughs> Paint job is amazing. My in my fury knows no bounds as they make a mockery of the thing, the very thing I adore. Okay, what do you do? Oh, by the way, your hat is gone. God damn it! They took my hat. <laughs> What the stone's character looks like again? I haven't seen it in ages. Oh, uh, so, uh, let me pull him up. Let me pull him that's up. That's a good point. So here's <laughs> what he... We, we have another one being super huge. <laughs> so here Don't he is. Don't call him that! He's big bone! So here he is, and I might as well bring the other one here. She behaves! I have to behave. <laughs> that's the first time. Yeah. Okay. So, um, in this section right here, I'm just gonna set this up, where you guys you. are like right there, and you're over here. Um. So, um, Aegis, uh, you feel like you're about to scream, and then you real, and then like, almost like a projector in your mind is like. Oh, wait, no. I agreed to be here to repay the kindness of uh, Bobinski. <laughs> to, I am here to right the wrongs of bitching about his ticket scam. So, you're like, I'm here to um entertain the people. That's your thought. I'm here to entertain the people. So what do you do? I know. Well, might as well show off my first talent as the first words to escape my slack-jawed mouth. Or yeah. does my mouth actually move yeah. when I speak? You, uh, you feel your body get up and there's unsettling cracking to be heard as it sounds like, kind of like what it sounds like when a puppeteer is like getting ready to like straighten out his puppets. Um, <laughs> and, uh, unsettling, unsettling movement. Uh, and you are a allowed to speak. I am allowed to move. I am allowed to speak. And the first words out of my mouth is, Greetings. I have the great power to tell you when you will die and how. Your eyes glow red as this happens, and people go... Hold on, let me let me get my thing, let me get my thing, let me get my thing, let me get my thing. I, I'm sorry, that was perfect time. People go, hold on. Let me get yeah. my thing. Hold on, hold let on. Let me get my wallet, let me get my wallet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, st um, 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 hold on a moment. I need... Quick, get the sketch artist to draw it out. There we go. <laughs> you hear a giant gasp. Uh, and, uh, how loud do you say this? Uh, uh with the power of thaumaturgy. Okay! So with the power of thaumaturgy, we're gonna go back to our crew over here. With the ticket booth. I, well, I, you I... Okay. <laughs> do I notice spell? You do notice. No, I was saying, do I notice spells or bring up a fucking character sheet? I don't know. He's getting yeah. dispelled. He's trying to dispel magic. You guys <laughs> hear, because thaumaturgy, when that happens, can be heard like a hundred feet away. Maybe even louder. You hear the undeniable yelling of Aegis Azor as you were about to ask the ticket booth yeah. person. Um, but it is further in the circus. Do you follow the yell? Uh, no, Bird does not because Bird thinks, oh, clearly if he's, if he's making threats, he needs a distraction. Okay. And yes. the plan that I messaged you begins. Yes, and the plan begins. 
Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> so! <laughs> I need to know what Azor's gonna do first before I even do this chaos. Um, he looked like he was about to ask the first question. Hear the voice, flinch, look very indecisive for looking back to as the voice came from sick. Uh, 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 what do you want, kid? Walk. Um, um, nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, <laughs> and you can go into that direction. Make me a perception so you okay. know which. It's just like you can follow sound, but it's like which direction of the sound. Like you know it's in this area generally. No. <laughs> okay. So um you're like um 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 and I'm gonna put you in a random place. Is he here? That works. <laughs> <laughs> so you're all the way over here, like is he back in the big tent? Um mm -hmm. and if Aegis keeps yelling, uh you can try again. Um, okay, gotcha. You. I mean, he'll, you... Al he'll always yell next. Yeah. So, these guys are gonna go over here. Bird. And yes, yes. our deer are gonna be over here. So! Let's, uh, let's get this ready, shall we? Some like no music. I feel like no could just use further to your Nope, that's not it. So <laughs> Bird and Madame Elestate. You explain yeah. to her what the plan is. Hang on, let me get my laptop. Should I narrate this, or do you want to explain it? Um, Bert, I will, I will talk it in, but then I want you to narrate how it goes. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say, like, he's gonna say, like, um, I, it's a cunning plan. I have seen you work magic with animals. Mm. I wish to use that magic to enlist allies. It's good magic. Very good. And then he tells her the plan in detail. Okay. And I just feel like it'll be better if you narrate exactly All right. That. So. I am just going to come over here to my soundboard because I have something perfect for this. So. Oh, God. All right. Where is it? All right. First step is to sneak into the animal's pens. LSD, will you speak with animals or transform to communicate? Releasing the horses first, directing them to kick at tent poles. So, that's the first thing that you guys are going to do. So, LSD is going to transform into a, well, a horse. She is a black mare. Um... And she, well, actually, no, she won't transform into a horse. What she'll do is that she'll transform into a mouse. So, as she transforms into a mouse, um, she needs to roll a couple of things. One, she needs to convince the animals uh, to even be on her side. And I am going to roll persuasion on her part. The good part is, only a couple of us, only one species needs to agree out of all for the chaos to still happen. So. 
You guys are probably gonna see this. There's her persuasion. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> uh, the animals look down at her uh, in her little mouse form. And, uh, or at least the horses, and uh, they don't seem uh, inclined to want to help her. She uh, blinks a couple of times. On to step two. Okay. Step two, then. So. It's time to move on to the elephants. You see, in... In the genius of birds' thoughts is that young male elephants tend to be angrier and more violent. And thus, they will direct the elephants towards the risers' bleachers to knock them over. Let's see if this works. LSD, being a mouse form, scares the fucking elephants. You didn't even need to, um, convince them. They, uh, they got fucking scared. And you hear a very, very loud... Yeah. Um, as a bunch of elephants are now, uh, running away in panic. And LSD blinks a couple of times in her little mouse form. And looks next to her and notices that there is another mouse eating, like, a, a piece of popcorn. And they're like, man, I did the same thing. Don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Elephants, man. They never forget. No. No. So. Now. Something interesting is going to happen. Where is a good... Where is good music? Okay. So. Is this good? So, a stampede happens. And the tent is completely, uh... Well, kerfuffled. Yeah. And now there are a bunch of panicking elephants going all around, trampling on people. I said to attack the empty bleacher. That's not my fault. Mm. The only question is now, are you going to start releasing the wildcats? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, one D. One hundred here. I'm just gonna see what happens. <sighs> Bird, I need you to make uh, a stealth. Check. I. Let's see how I roll tonight. I think I rolled okay. Yep. Now roll me sleight of hand. In the midst of all of this chaos. All right. You, um... You do the sleight of hand. You unleash the tigers, the ligers, and the lions. And bears. Oh, my. And, and bears. And now there is complete and total chaos. Everyone... Hey. Hears this. Even in the curio tent. Aegis... Say you're, uh, uh, 
you uh, you say your speech. Um, uh, tell me, uh, does, uh, read out that speech for me, please. I know you've written it down, but I want you to read it out during this moment. Especially the I know the time and date of your death part. <laughs> Is Dane there? I'm here, sorry, I just had to deal with baby brother. Okay, can you read out your thing? <clears throat> of course, of course. You will die due to embarrassment. When you act, I accidentally used the wrong word, when you propose to your lover within five months, your heart cannot take the pressure as she accepts your proposal, but cries as you pass in her elephant. Yeah, you hear the loud elephant, uh, sh uh, roar? Is it a, a, what is that noise that elephants do? Does it matter? You hear the elephant trumpets. Um, Azor, you also hear them, and you see a bunch of fucking elephants charge out of the tent and start trampling. It's like deja vu. Not again. Round two, is there? Round two! Round two. Um, and, uh, yeah, I need everyone <laughs> to roll initiative. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like this is more detrimental to us than the enemy? <laughs> I never said I'd be helping you, Barty. I just, I don't want to Hey, we tied ages. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, I had to drag the dog in because of being a bitch. What a mess. Elephants. Uh, elephants are now stampeding around the place. How oh, that? And we rolling in. Yeah. Yup. Yep. Yep. And we still haven't addressed the wildcats, but hopefully they actually go like Predator Brady says they should go. Oh, and hopefully that won't come up, but just in case, I'm gonna. Are you oh, having fun way, yet? Uh, Yes. Yes, I am. Oh my god. <laughs> By the way, Strife. Yeah. What's your dex? What's your dex? 16. Might want to put that point sixteen in there then. I can't. Why can't I? Oh yeah. It wouldn't be point sixteen. It would be your... Yeah. Your it's still the same is. thing though, as long as it's higher than Dane's. So... <laughs> as long as it's higher than mine. That's all that matters. Yeah, I also rolled the same roll, that's why I'm saying that, and okay. you would go first strife, because my dex is 15, which is a mod of 5. Wait, your dex two, is sorry. 20 or 15? 15, it's a mod of 2, I was reading the save, oh, sorry. Okay, so then mine would be 10.3, or what? 10.3, yeah. Me and, and yours would be 10.2? Me and Dane would have to roll off against each other. Yeah. Reason, um... 10.4 is because it doubles it, if you remember. Oh, right, right, yeah. I'm, you I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll, baby. <laughs> no, you're not, Aegis. <laughs> <laughs> you're not ready to roll. So, yeah, strife me, then Dane. Uh, yeah, bird, strife, Dane, or boo, Dane, yeah. What I'll do is... 10.4. Actually, don't we have to wait for Moon to roll too? Or I was normal. wondering if I should move. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> should. Cage. Okay. You may have to dodge an elephant going to your cage, so probably. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if, if Age is going to be able to dodge. <laughs> Age just seen... gets stomped. Oh my god. <laughs> have we seen how stiff he is right now? Uh, 22 for my initiative roll. Oh. Uh, Dane, you got a 22. Yeah. So are we in proper proper combat or is it just sort of se semi combat where it's this is semi combat? So could I mass cast a spell when it's my turn? Yes. Okay. Okay. And I have to roll for everyone else. <laughs> Oh, 
Those are gonna be for all the elephants. This is gonna be... The cat meowing in the back. Yeah, it's <laughs> Milo. The lion. Oh, was that a cat? That sounded like a parrot copying a cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does that. Yeah, <laughs> making fun of you. So why is it the elephant has none of its stats written in, but the lion and the tiger do? Because not everyone know. uses elephants. But that's bullshit. They're not paid enough. That's Because <laughs> <laughs> lion and tigers are quite common enemies to throw at people during a jungle. However, elephants not so much because they're more spe specific. Okay. Oh god, it's all going to the purple tint. Oh god. <laughs> I just noticed where the position's like, uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's close to the purple tent. Oh, true, they I can pres still disperse in different directions, yeah. I true. presume a few of these are actually in the same square, because it's definitely not five foot per square. Yeah, it's not five foot <laughs> per square. This is... So, let me... It's do a like thing. It's 20 or 15 yeah, per like square. 20. So, I am going to change the grid distance here. I'm going to say that okay. this is like 20 per square. Sound good? Okay. Yeah. So 20 feet yeah, per so square. It was like 20 or 30 per square, maybe 50 if you're really pushing it. So if you were to take your thing now, see? Oh god, yep. <laughs> <sighs> So at the most, I think these things can probably... I could make it easier instead of it being 20 per square and have it just be 10 per square, but... Uh, I... 20, 20. Per, 20 per square would make more sense with how the 10 yeah. per square so far. Yeah. 20 per square. Without Thank you. 10 per Which is a medium sized 10. Yeah. So... I could add more animals to this, but let's see what happens next. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, who, oh wait, it's not completely Sorry. over, is it? Because uh, I have more people to roll initiatives of. Oh no. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh. You might want to do most of the NPCs in one grouping. Yeah, I'm going to do the NPCs in one grouping. So... And it... then the civilians in another grouping, because holy crap. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to have... I'm going to have Georgie represent oh, the NPCs. <laughs> hey guys, did you notice what time it is? <laughs> I'm going to start the battles and I'm not going to be here for it. <laughs> Again, Ed. Again. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Listen. I start the party, but I don't always pay for the end. Uh... I need... You know what? This lady right here, she's going to represent civilians. Yeah. She's just a random-ass lady. She has no <laughs> other purpose. Don't ask. <laughs> No other purpose, just... <laughs> um... What ladies doing civilians? There's not a person. The one by Azra. This one. Ah. So, yeah. I'm just gonna... Totally doesn't look like an important character because we are. Yeah, definitely not an important character. Totally not. <laughs> <laughs> I did such a good distraction. Okay. Everyone is so distracted. That's 17. And now yeah. it's the circus. Oh, no. In general. Okay. <laughs> so I uh, put the third orders in correct order. Yeah, I'm going to do it in correct order soon. I am going to have this man. Uh, you not know. No. I'm gonna have Lulu represent everyone in the circus taking their turn. 
So, with Lulu here. Lulu represents. <laughs> so, roll. I'm pretty sure he has a three to his dex. I haven't. Because it, cause it's mass, just do it as uh, zero, because it's a mass okay. roll. Thank you. That is a ten. So. He would go after. <laughs> How many tens do we have this round? Oh my god. Four. <laughs> <laughs> How many tens? <laughs> Literally four tens. Literally. Okay. You know, I, I think this battle is intense. I got it. And... Right, no. yep. <laughs> so here we go. Ten, 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 ten. Lots of tens. <laughs> so, my dear, uh, Yuna, you hear this calamity happen. Okay. So hold on a moment before I even continue. Do you guys want to stop here because Ed is leaving? It may be good to stop here because of this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can't say it wasn't exciting. It, it's best to stop here because the moment this starts, this is going to be a while. Yep, and Ed should be here to reap what she yeah. sows for the chaos. <laughs> Ed needs to be here to reap what she sows. Yes, I shall, well, I shall flee the battle riding on the back of a flagger and it shall be glorious. I, I just like the fact that we started this Everyone was wondering where Aegis was. A distraction was needed. And this is the result of the distraction. After I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you, Dane. I expected this to happen sooner. <laughs> I was waiting for this the entire session to happen. So You're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna mm, have this it. lady all around to represent all the different civilians here. Like, as soon as Bird left, I had the thought as I was just like, wait, do we really need a distraction? Do we? <laughs> the, the answer was no, we didn't need a distraction. The, the answer was no. no, but it was too late by then. <laughs> I gave you a chance. Again, I find it more hilarious the fact that it happened after, after Liana found Aegis, making a fucking fool of himself. Yes. Yep. You could say I saved you from an embarrassing situation. Uh, it's too loud. It's too loud. You're so... just jealous that you can't make your voice as loud as mine with Thaumaturgy. That's Feels okay, like I can do the rest of So, there's a, a, a... All of these civilians, all of these pictures of this lady represent... A civilian, not a civilian, but a group of civilians. I'm gonna say a group of ten civilians here, okay? Oh God! So, Hold on. how big? How big are these squares? They're twenty. So it's a twenty by. T oh God, no! Boy, I just, I just realized something too. Now that I think about it, this is the second time the elephants have escaped, but there weren't any destroyed tents last time when we got there. I mean, again, Stratus was going to ask that, but then he got... He turned into a doll. He, he turned into one of those creepy... Creepy Puppets. dolls that you, have to, that you have to pay in order to get your future told. With him, it's just, you're going to die at this amount of time, and this is how. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm just thinking, I'm like, wait a second. If they escaped once from the other mouse, but we saw, like, no damage or anything, I wonder what happened after the escape. It, question. <laughs> yep. Alright. Uh, That's out of character though, so. Right now it's just panic elephants. Panic elephants. They're gonna crush me. Wait, they're gonna okay, crush night, guys. Good night. 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 Listen, night. I was barely safe time. from being stampede last time there was elephants. I don't want to get stampede this time. 